Hi YouTube, what's up? I'm back two days in a row. It's uh, hard to believe, but here we are. So yesterday I made a video playing the Infinite Yog Fizzle Priest together with Jambre, and you could see it didn't go very well, but the deck was really fun. But it means that I uh, I lost some ranks. <laughs> also today on stream we tried more of the priest and it didn't go well. So I need to play a deck now that can win some games, and we need to get that rank back in the in the good direction <laughs> because i'm like 1k 600 now we want to go under the 1k for sure by the end of the month um so we're gonna try and doing that with a secret rogue that works pretty well in the current meta i have already played it a bit the past few days and i did manage to have a pretty good win rate with it so i'm gonna try and use this now to climb back on ladder um, I'm just gonna talk you through the list real quick. So it's a basic secret rogue, but we don't run the ghastly grave digger. Uh, I think you could run it maybe instead of the prison breaker if you wanted to. But we included the, the prison breaker because it's actually a pretty cool card. After you've cast five spells um, throughout the game, this, this, uh, this effect will be active and it will deal three damage to all enemies. So it's like a board clear, but it also hits three damage to the enemy's face. So it has us uh, some extra damage and also you can step it and deal more damage and um, get rid of some bigger boards. Uh, Okani is also pretty good in the current meta so whenever you want to play that and um, depending on what you face go for spell or minion. Usually I go minion but some matchups you kind of want to go spell. Um, What else? The secrets there is a one double cross, two perjury, and two sticky situations. And I feel like the sticky situations in the current meta are really good because all the decks are playing lots of spells. So you always end up with a 3 4 uh, a spooder with stealth. Pretty good. It can hit the face. And we like we like hitting the face. And of course, there's the Queen Ashara in here. And we also run the Prison of Yogg-Saron and the Yogg-Saron Titan card. And you can step it. So you can play multiple yogs during the game if you need to. Uh, we have the tentacle grip as well to get some 1-1 one -one tendrils. So you can start buffing them up if you want to. But it's not the main goal of the deck. Um, Mulligan, I would say you want to keep... You want to look for the one drop, the concoctor. Look for the goalish alchemist. Maybe the potion belt with it. I don't know entirely sure depending on the matchup you can also keep bone spikes prep and if you have the coin maybe keep the queen already oh and another a very important one the four drop the the private eye because you don't want to draw your secrets you want to just cast them by playing the private eye that's uh that's how you preferably play them but that's like kind of similar to how the deck was already played before the mini set and in the previous expansion so you probably kind of know how to play it but I'm just going to show you on ladder now how it works in the current matchups. Just going to queue a game here and we'll see. I'm just like th thinking a bit what the, what the worst matchups for the deck are. But I feel like it has a bit of a chance against most decks. Because you can, um, you can put a lot of pressure but you can also win longer games. Especially with multiple yogs. So let's just see what we face and make the best of it while we wait for a game this is also the perfect time to show you my new hearthstone swag from the creator program so this uh, this shirt i received that a few weeks ago already first time i'm wearing it it's from the hearthstone creator program that i'm currently in and it's a really really comfy and soft shirt so i, I really love it okay first game against the warrior we have private eye we have the coin we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep the private eye Okani, we don't need. Shadow Step, we don't need. Potion Belt, we might keep with it as well. So we're just going to keep these two cards. Oh, and we have a prep as well. Okay. If we top deck a Bone Spike, we can go for a very early Private Eye if we wanted to. But I'm not sure that's going to be necessary because we can coin it on three anyway. Um, Both heroes have plus one attack on their turns is the... And normally that's that's fine. I think we I don't think we need to prep or do anything here. We're just gonna hit them in the head and wait. Next turn, we can either go potion belt or sticky. We'll see. Depends a bit on the draw. 
Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Now. Oh, we drew a secret. That's a bit sad. Okay, I'm gonna set up the sticky. Because they might play a spell and then it will already proc the secret. So then we will recast it with private eye. Because there's only one double cross. We can never get double cross from the private eye anymore. Oh, I didn't play anything. Okay. So... Private Eye is not that good at the moment because we the only thing I can cast is Perjury. So maybe I'm gonna gonna wait with that till he procs. And I'm gonna just prep the potion belt and maybe play the double concoction. We can summon. Summon twice. Seems good. Here we go. And hit. We might proc this turn, or he could just set up a weapon. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. It's a Renathal warrior, so... They play some... Uh, some cards you never expect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I kind of know what's in the 30 warrior list, but... In the Renathal... I can't really, can't really tell. Concoctor. Okay. Still didn't proc, so I'm still not gonna... Not gonna go Private Eye here. Deal 3, sure. Set up this. I'm gonna coin the weapon so we just use that to clear the minion. And bam bam. Okay. So we have a deal three concoction. We have an Astalori that we can also shadow step if we want to. And the private eye. At the moment, only gonna cast perjury. If they if they play a spell on this turn. It's gonna proc Sticky and then we can go Private Eye and get the Sticky and the Perjury out of the deck. Yeah, there you go. Done! <laughs> Finally. Uh, our board is gone. Okay, so we need to find something else to do here. Oh, we drew a Perjury, really. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go Astalor. We're gonna set up this, um, this Perjury. We're going to step the Astolor for next turn. So we have a free card next turn that we can use to activate the Private Eye. We just have to pray here that we don't draw a secret. Because there's only two more secrets in the deck. If we draw them, the, the Private Eye is only going to cast one and it's terrible. So we don't really want that. Let's see. Perjury, what do we want? Oh, I, I like objection, guys. I'm, I'm gonna insta pick objection here. Ocean belt, fine. Okay, so we can do. Uh, I can also just bone spike, actually, you know. Bone spike it. Private eye it. Maybe a concoction. Easy. And maybe some more damage as well. I'm not sure if we need it. Oh, easy. And this, and this. Okay, so our secrets now are objection, sticky situation, and perjury. So perjury will always proc next turn for us. Sticky, I think it will uh, get proc pretty quick as well because they do want to play spells at this point to um, remove the board out, say. Maybe here they just go Astalor? No. Bridge Riff. Okay, so they get a Verse Riff with that, I think. Yeah. And our Sticky is procced again. Okay. They don't value traits. Perjury again. Uh, 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 um. What if we just went with Cap Trick here? Foolish. Okay, um, we can deal the damage. Use our face. Hit them in the head. We're a bit low, we need to be a bit careful. But next turn we can get armor from the Astalor. Um, do we have enough board? No, let's play this one and then go this and this. At the end of your turn, if you control a secret, deal two damage. Well, I'm gonna play it because I, at the moment, I still control secrets. So, 
just go for it. Next turn, I'm gonna need to set up Astalors because I need some um, some armor, I think. Also, he we still have an objection up. So opponent can't really play this Astalor Insta. He needs uh, he needs something to go with it. Okay, cat trick is procced. And we're gonna Astalor. Astalor Medute. I can step it and play it again and get more armor. I think that's the way to go. We're a bit low. Give me all the Astalors. <laughs> I'll need them. I'm not really close to killing, unfortunately. Okay. But next turn, I could go for another Astalor, like the five mana one, and get more armor and play the, the bubbling concoction. Or I just... Oh, he played that Odin right into my um, objection, really. That is interesting. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this for the armor. And I'm gonna play the, the tentacle grip. Go oh, face and face. Set up the weapon. Go oh, this. He needs to do something here or he died. He's gonna die to the Astalors. I have triple Astalor in hand. Plus I have the board. And they don't have Odin. Which is really a big deal. And I don't know why he just played that into objection, to be honest. Maybe he forgot. Surely he could have procced it with something else. I would have been dead in, in like two turns if he had a working Odin on the board. <laughs> okay, bellowing. Only clearing the 5-2. Bladestorm. Okay, he's going for a clear. He can set up his 5-mana Astalor if he wants. I still need to be a bit careful because um, I'm dead to his Astalor now if I don't do anything good. I'm gonna do um, prep, deal three on his 5-5, five five, then play my Astalor. Or maybe I could have played the Tendril first actually. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna still play it. Just hope it doesn't cast like the Lighted Burns or something. That's fine. Um, do we think he's gonna ask the lore? He might to clear my board, and then I have like a tiny problem because my Astalor won't clear his one back probably. <laughs> if I'm if if I was if, if this was my turn, I would, if I was him, I would just play the Astalor. Go for a board clear. Come on. Come on. There's not many ways to kill me because there is no Odin, so his armor cards won't actually damage me at all. It's just if he has weapons or if he gets like an Ignis weapon or something. Is he going Astalor? He's not. It doesn't look like he wants to play it. Oh, he's going. No, come on. The Titan, okay. What's the Titan gonna do? Plus five health, plus five armor. Oh, it hit it hit the correct minion so he could trade. He didn't have a trade otherwise, I think. But now we have a problem because this is gonna cast first the, the, the bridge riff as well. And then suddenly opponent has a full board and I don't really have much to do. I have to play Astalor. Hope it clears up the, the taunt does okay the titan can't attack so we're back in the same spot really where we're just waiting to see if opponent is gonna finally play his astalor or not i have one more only we're not really that close to killing oh i'm dead i'm dead i can't believe it opponent played played odin into my objection and i still died but to be fair, my draw was terrible. Shadow of Demise, top deck with no spells in hand. That is not what you want to see. Okay, we're gonna try again, but this was not this was not a good game. I had a decent curve, but we just we just in the early game we got smoked a little bit too much, I think. With his minions and the weapon. 
It's fine. We'll just win the next one. Against Death Knight. Wait, who's playing Death Knight? I haven't faced any in a long time. I think maybe some people are trying out like um the plague one to stop druids. Not not sure. Okay, our anomaly is upgraded hero power, but what is an upgraded hero power for DK? I've never seen that. <laughs> Does he get a 2-2? Two, two? Or a 2-1? Or does he get two one ones? I don't know. Oh, it's Ranas. It's Blood Decay. Oof. Oof. So it's a 2-1 goal with charge to upgrade at hero power. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it. Okay. We play the ghoulish. Next turn, we can go potion belt and get a free, free double concoction. Upgraded hero power is a bit annoying because it, it freely trades into our ghoulish. But I'm going for it. Um, Maybe some draw and a minion. Let's go. Achoo! Prep. After you draw second card in turn, destroy this. What? I need to draw cards. I I can't set up the double cross because this I'm gonna destroy my own minion. Dude. This is maybe gonna hit phase once. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't look too good for me right now. Um at least we get the attack in. I think I'm going to prep a tentacle. Maybe another tentacle. Set up the ghoulish and chill for now. Maybe, you can, we, maybe we can win with the yog in hand. If, if it doesn't get ratted. Because actually Blood Decay might play Dirty Rat as well. Cool teacher is fine. The thing is, I can't draw cards while this this minion is on, on the board. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go Tentacle and Private Eye and cast my secrets, I think. Hit face first, just to make sure I don't accidentally kill it with the Tendril. Discover a nature spell. Wait, that's actually good as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna get another one. And now my weapon is actually six attack and we're maybe we just kill him. <laughs> that was not a bad tendril. They gave me plus four attack on my weapon. Plus eight in two turns. He's almost dead. Look, he's on twelve. Coin. No muncher. Eh. Okay, I need to deal with that. I do need to deal with that. Is, is he gonna take the damage though? He's not sure. He's gonna heal. Oh, he could, that could have gone wrong for him. Okay, I'm gonna go Tendril. Okay, my minion is alive. Creation protocol. Maybe I just have to hit him with my face, really. Just set up my secrets. Hit with my face. Oh, face. Okay. I think we're fine for now. We don't need to do more. Wait. We have perjury and we have sticky situation up. Plus, if we really have to, we can um, we can go Titan next turn if we use the Shadow Step first. But that also means we don't step the Titan, and it's probably gonna insta kill it. Blood boil. Yeah, we get a sticky situation. Start three. What do we want? Counter spell? Motion denied. He's not gonna play that many cards, is he? This is a good counter spell. Prison. Prison is quite funny too. 
setting up the crap. Uh, 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 uh. What do we want to do here? Maybe crap for max damage. Can't let this game go too long. Poof, poof, poof. Okay, he's on 14 again. Slowly pushing. And we have a counter spell up, so he has to play around that as well. Nope. Obliterate. Nope. Vampiric. Sure. He might swing with his weapon now. He's gonna get an 8-8 eight, eight lifesteal. But we can yoink it or we can prison, prison it. Or ignore it. I don't know. <laughs> what if we just ignore it? Is he, is he like almost dead? His minion can't insta-hit. It's just there on the board. We have... Oh, well, my private eye is dying, so he's healing for two more. We only have ten on the board right now, so it's not enough. Shadow of Demise. Hmm. You know what? I think, unfortunately, we have to, um... We have to prison the 9-9. Nine -nine. I'm gonna hit face already, in case there's, like, a twisting ladder or something. Not good, not good. Fireball on it. But it's not dead yet. Need one more. No! It's alive. And I don't have mana to, to bone spike it now. Oh, that was terrible. Gonna heal for nine. Oh my god. We have an AoE for next turn, but not what we want to see. Patchwork, um, not the York. Okay, easy dodge. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're, we're gonna keep fighting for the board. This for minion. And hit him in the head again. He's on 17 now, so uh, <laughs> we're still not mega close. Blood boil again. It did work. So he knows it's um he knows it's minion now. Okay. How are we doing this? We're gonna go double cross. Yeah, we're gonna go sticky. We're gonna do this, I think. I'm gonna hit it, put it face anyway. Maybe it can uh, do something. Oh, draw is good. At least we got some draw, but overall, not not a good prison again. Hmm. But we are reducing the cost of York, so at least maybe we can maybe we can still win with like tendrils somehow. Uh, this is not a very big minion. Oh shit, it's still five. That's that's awkward because my crap claws are only four attack. <laughs> so I can't actually clear it. Mm. Oh, I can now because he ordered terribly. Okay. Real question though, um, it's never lethal, right? With the tendrils, I'm gonna have to heal him for five. Sadly, okay, <laughs> he's on ten. But I'm also getting low now because they, they played Mograine and the Mograine is still on the board. Not, not the best thing. Death Strike. Okay, he's on 16 now. I think I'm gonna have to go for Tendrils next turn. Maybe Yoink the thing, step the Yog. Oh, what's in, what's in the ETC? I can stab Yogg three times. 
four times. One, two, no, three times. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this face. Okay. Holy Nova Lil Heal. Okay, not terrible. This here. This here. I don't need to stab the Og that many times, I think. Mmm. Pay this. Okay. We're gonna go for the Yog. Get some tendrils and stab the Yog. And we're gonna play some tendrils. This is Animal Companion. Okay, Taunt. I'm gonna hit face first. I'm a bit worried. Rune, sure, doesn't matter. Star power, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, Beast. Amalgam. Okay. Well, we did, we did something. We did something. Uh, corpse explosion clears, but we don't really care about that because we do want the board space back. Also, we're we're on a clock now because we're on fourteen health, but we take three every turn from the Mograine. Viper is whatever. He also has a card in hand from ATC, and I have no idea what it is. Okay, let's start by destroying. Wrong one. This. This. Oh, we can play the tendril as well. I don't know what we're gonna get for six though. Blizzard. Okay, not bad actually. Can live with that. Hit him in the head. Maybe the Astalor can just kill him next turn because if he plays a big minion, we can yoink it with the Titan and then go Astalor. Unless he has a Theothar from, from the ETC. Honestly, I have no idea. Wait, what did you just play? Ruins of Darkness. Discover a weapon. Sp spend three corpses to give it plus one, plus one. Don't think... Oh, there's lifesteal weapons, though. And he picked really quick. Maybe he got lifesteal. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, no! Ashbringer, 6-3. I think we might still win though. Oh my god. We we won with Astalor? Oh we won! We won! <laughs> to be honest, I was starting to lose hope. I was starting to lose hope. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna go 0-2. Okay, last game. This is the decider. We're 1-1 one, one at the moment. 1-1. One, one. Let's see. Can we get a positive win rate or a negative win rate in this video? I think we can win again. The deck is good. It's not that's not the issue, but in the first game I feel like my draws were kinda unlucky towards the end. Um but yeah. We'll see. Last game. And what do we have? Bone spike. We have the coin. It's warrior again. I don't know if we keep Bone Spike against Warrior. I feel like we might not. Whenever a player ends their turn with unspent mana, we get a coin. Okay, we can do that. I think we get rid of all these cards. Look for something better. Okay. We can play with this. If, if opponent plays a minion early, which I don't think they will, we can go... Prep, Bone Spike, Private Eye, on uh, turn 2. Oh, it's Ranathal again. Dude, why why are all the Warriors Ranathal suddenly? I think 30, 30 Warriors is just better deck. Okay, if, if he doesn't do anything, we might just set up the Sticky and Coin and we get a new Coin back anyway. Oh, wait, is it en Enrage Ranathal or is he just playing that? <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay, so sticky and coin because we get a coin back, so might as well. Opponent is also collecting coins, so we need to keep that in mind. The tracker doesn't show it. Coin. Oh, procked my sticky. Coin armor up. Don't get. Okay, it's not gonna get a new coin. Oh no, he did. He is. Never mind. <laughs> he still had one. Um. Okay. So I can go. I don't actually have to use the prep. I can also just coin bone spike private eye. And then use the coin again and get a new one. And what did we get? We got perjury and double cross. So we're gonna draw some cards. I think we need to. Hence, like a bit awkward. Next turn, we might just set up the Okani for minion. Yeah, two, four health minions. That's not great. Double cross. Okay, here we go. And perjury. What are we getting? Okay, counter. Oh, I like counter spell. Counter spell, freezing or motion. I'm gonna go counter spell. And we're going to go Connie Minion. So it's kind of blocked in every way. And we can prep a sticky situation. So he has to play around more stuff. He has a coin. So he might, he might just use a coin to proc. Yeah, that procs the counter spell, but not the Okani. So he has to like shield slam it or something. To get rid of it. Problem is our hand does nothing. So if we don't top deck any value here, I, I don't see us winning even with a decent opening that we had. Field slam. Okay, he is clearing it, but not really doing anything else at the moment. Prison of Yoxeron. Okay, that's good for next turn. I think I'm just gonna take a slow turn and we'll wait and see what happens. <laughs> Next turn, if needed, I can go coin Prison of Yoxeron. If he makes some board, I can also go Prison Breaker, step it, and repeat. That's a six six damage AoE. Vizzle, huh? Since when do warriors play Fizzle? I guess I missed something. Alright. Well, I guess we do this. It is astonishing, yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Spending a coin to gain one. Uh, we have prison? Like, our hand is really weird. We have coin, coin, prep, shadow step, prison of Yoxeron. So we, we need something to go with it to make it a really good hand. Like, maybe a queen could help us a bit. If nothing happens, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna set up the prison here and and wait. There's nothing on the board, not on my side or on opponent's side, so I don't think it's worth it to press the button. Uh, we got a tentacle grip, <laughs> but the tendril is only gonna summon, um, cast a one mana spell, so I doubt that's gonna be very impactful. We just need to wait for better top decks or draw. Yoke's run, not yet, buddy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna point it face now. Lunar. Celestial. Holy Maki. Corpse explosion. Well, it killed the, the, the Tori for a turn, I suppose. 
Uh, tentacle rip going phase. Wait, did I not combo that? Oh, I didn't combo it. Okay, never mind. I don't get a tendril. <laughs> I can use the, the holy maki spell to uh, discount the yog a bit more. I don't really have more to do on this turn anyway. Just dag, redag, and discount. Maybe wait here so we get an extra coin. Okay, so the yog is uh, the yog's on gonna be on zero very very soon we just need to not get ratted if possible don't rat me dude finley okay he's looking for something as well he's looking for odin i'm looking for like a queen or i don't know actually what i'm looking for because i haven't really pushed any damage <laughs> How do you win the late game? Maybe multiple yogs? Tendrils every turn. Okay, we can um we can AoE with Prison Breaker here. Only uh only small minions on the board. And a Renatal, we don't care. Okay, so let's go Concoctor first. Easy, I'm gonna play that. Spell damage plus one. Well, I don't really have spells at the moment, so we do this. I can go coin. I will discount my Yogg even more. I'm gonna coin and coin and make more room for the tendrils. Play this. Crap. Get tendrils. A lot of them. Step the yog. Are you guys ready? <laughs> it's the tendril attack. Resistance aura. Okay, not bad. Drawing. Uh, I'm gonna, I might overdraw cards if I'm... No, I'm on nine. That's fine. Okay. We clear this. Do this. I can send this face. Okay. <laughs> he has to clear and I have I have a handful of tendrils and a yog. So if he if he rats, it's a very small chance of pulling the yog. And my my tendrils are on uh five now or six? Four. Wait, no, I already did a four cost spell. So it's gonna next one should be five, right? Sanitize, okay. It's a bit whatever. This is not whatever though. If he gets a Wind Fury 10 mana weapon, that's a little bit scary. Okay, and another location. So I'm going to start playing some tendrils, I think. Fireball. Oh, not on my face at least. <laughs> Five mana. Okay, summon some stuff. Six mana. Swarm. Um, okay, so my board is full. Push three more. We get more tentacles. Okay. It's going to depend on his weapon a little bit now, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay, we did 7 costs, so the next one's going to be 8, 9, 10, right, I think. Not sure. My my, my Tandros and Hand says random 7 costs still, so I'm not sure. Wind Fury and Armor. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how we... How we how we win then because i need to clear this board we're gonna go full phase then we're gonna play the location i mean press it maybe there'll be an aoe of some sorts no no oh actually nothing 
I can step. Sure. No, did nothing. Dude. This is this is not good, okay? Because we're gonna take 10 again. He's gonna gain 16 armor again. This is the worst, the worst thing that could happen, really, the Wing Fury weapon. I'm starting to wonder if Warrior is just a bad matchup. Might be. I don't actually I'm, I'm I'm thinking like how do we how do you beat it? If they have Odin early, you don't win. In the late game here with the with the Wind Fury weapon, you don't win. And we didn't really didn't really um pressure him that much either. Okay. One more tentacle to rule them all. Eight cost. What what can eight cost do? Cultivation, well, it's it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. We're dead. Well, unlucky facing two warriors couldn't couldn't beat them. At least we managed to beat the blood decay. Um, I think this deck is good on ladder, but if you face a lot of warriors, you might. Might actually be better off playing the Fizzle Priest, I don't know. But this was not it. Anyway, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to try the deck out, I will leave the code in the description below. And um, let me know if you're going to try it or not. And see you again later. Bye!